Are you ready for some good news? In Christ, you have been perfectly accepted by God. The Lord wants you to grow and change and overcome your besetting sin. But nothing, absolutely nothing, can change the fact that you are accepted in the Beloved. Here's today's text from Galatians. It's the opening chapter and we're at verse 6. I'm astonished that you're so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we've said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. Paul begins the Galatian epistle with this bold, direct expression of his shock. I am astonished. The great temptation for the Christian is not to abandon Christ, but to add something to Christ. In C.S. Lewis's brilliant screw tape letters, the senior demon screw tape writes advice to his nephew Wormwood, a junior tempter. And in chapter 25, the senior devil advises the junior to lead people to Christianity plus something else, he writes. What we want, if men become Christians at all, is to keep them in a state of mind I call Christianity and, you know, Christianity and the crisis, Christianity and the new psychology, Christianity and the new order. Christianity and faith healing, Christianity and psychical research, Christianity and vegetarianism, Christianity and spelling reform. If they must be Christians, let them at least be Christians with a difference. Substitute for the faith itself some fashion with a Christian coloring. We direct the fashionable outcry of each generation against those vices of which it is at least danger and fix its approval on the virtue nearest to that vice which we are trying to make endemic. The game is to have them running about with fire extinguishers where, whenever there's a flood and all crowding to that side of the boat which is already nearly under. Hell's strategy is subtle. The spiritual battle isn't so much designed to make you reject the gospel as it is to lure you into adding something to it. That's what was happening among the Galatian Christians. The Judaizers had convinced them that they would be more spiritual, more acceptable to God if they had the gospel plus the Old Testament practice of circumcision. Christianity and made the Apostle Paul furious. The grace of God is clear and full and free, period. You're loved unconditionally in Christ, and that's the gospel. Well, that's today's daily devotional, but if you missed the broadcast uh, on this important topic, I encourage you to go get the whole message. It's free at sharingthelight.org.